What's going on everybody, Dan from CD Keys here and you are very welcome back to another gaming update for the month of December. In today's video, we're gonna be going over all the new releases and gaming news that you need to know to keep yourself informed and keep yourself being a cool gamer person that you are. There's plenty of new titles to talk about today and some cool new spicy news for all of you all to know and to be informed about. But also just a quick reminder, if you guys are enjoying today's video, please be sure to leave a little like on it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing to keep up to date with all the latest and greatest in the gaming community. And all the titles that we're going to mention today will be available on cdkeys.com, some of which for pre-order. So if you want to check them out, head on over to cdkeys.com and check them out today. So without further ado, let's jump into some of the new releases coming out this December. Coming in at number one, we've got War Tales releasing on PC on December 1st. War Tale is a fantastic mix of RPG elements also combined with real-time strategy. This is a fantasy game in which you command a band of mercenaries in a massive scrawling open world. The visuals in this game look incredible. This game is definitely for fans of RPG or fantasy. War Tales is releasing on December 1st. Coming in at number two, we have Chorus releasing on December 3rd across PS4, PS5, Xbox Series X, Xbox One, and PC. Chorus is one of those games that I've looked at and said, wow, haven't seen anything like that done this well in a while. Chorus looks like a modern day take on something like maybe Star Fox or even Space Invaders. Chorus sees you play as the pilot Nara who pilots a sentient ship in which the two of you need to explore the galaxy, destroy everything, and complete a very in-depth immersive storyline. One thing that struck me straight away about Chorus is the visuals. These are some of the most amazing visuals I've seen in a space game in a while. The animations are crisp, sharp, and they look breathtaking. If you're a fan of arcade space shooters, definitely check out Chorus. This is a high-paced space shooter that will definitely keep you busy for a long time. You can check out Chorus come December 3rd. Next on the list, you've got Spellforce 3 Reforced Edition. Spellforce 3 is launching on the 6th of December on PC and is sure to be amazing. This game is breathing new life into the Spellforce series and fans of the series definitely don't want to sleep on this one. Another epic fantasy role-playing game adventure with real-time strategy elements, Spellforce looks incredible. The visuals from this opening cinematic literally blew my socks off. I thought it was incredible. It really reminded me of almost like a Harry Potter and Orlando situation. And those are two series that I absolutely love. So this game definitely hooked me in. Amazing voice acting, amazing cinematics, and the gameplay also looks incredible. The Spell Force will see you in a massive open world. Again, plenty to do, plenty of people to talk to, and quests to keep you busy. Next on the list is the previously meant to have released in November DLC for Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker. Now releasing on December 7th across PS4, PS5, and PC. Endwalker is a brand new DLC for Final Fantasy XIV, and players can expect new dungeons, new loot, and lots of new stuff to do and keep you busy. This game has been absolutely blowing up in the MMORPG community lately, and there's a reason for it. It is fantastic. A lot of people have left World of Warcraft for this game, and I fully understand why. If you're like me and you've put hundreds of hours into it, you definitely don't want to miss the new DLC Endwalker. And last on our list of releases for today is Halo Infinite, releasing on December 8th across Xbox Series X, an S, Xbox One, and PC. Now, if you're like me, you've been doing nothing for the last few days except playing the multiplayer of Halo Infinite, which is free to play now, and the campaign of Halo Infinite is releasing on December 8th. Halo Infinite has bred new life back into the Halo series, and it is set to be amazing. You can expect all the things you love and more about Halo, some classic characters, classic weapons, as well as a whole slew of new things to do in this massive open campaign. This is said to be one of the most in-depth Halo campaigns so far, and fans of the series will absolutely love this if Halo Infinite multiplayer is anything to go by. I'm super excited for it, and it releases on December 8th. And now that we've got releases out of the way, it's time to talk about some amazing gaming news to keep you all interested and excited for things to come. First on the list is that Xbox is 20 years old. Wow, I feel ancient. The original Xbox came out 20 years ago this month, and to celebrate, Xbox are now re-releasing 76 classic games from Xbox and Xbox 360 on their store for your playing pleasure. You can expect to see tons of classic games re-released on the current gen Xbox, as well as Xbox One, and this will definitely be a trip down memory lane. If you're a fan of nostalgia, definitely check this out. There's also a museum section live on their website now that you can go and check. And it's interactive, you can look around things and different parts of Xbox memorabilia. We'll have that linked in the description below as well. Next on the list, Elder Scrolls 6. When's it coming out? We have no idea what's it gonna include. We have no idea, but we do now have some news that it may actually be an Xbox and PC exclusive, which is really, really big news for some PlayStation players. I can definitely see some people making the switch for this title. I know I would, but we're very excited to see more content being released from this game hopefully soon so if we hear anything we will definitely keep you guys up to date but make sure you're subscribed below so you don't miss it 
Next is that Back for Blood is now adding a solo offline progression system for players who want to play solo and play offline. Back for Blood released a couple of weeks ago and it's been an amazing team co-op game to play with your buddies and friends from the same studio as Left 4 Dead and it is an absolute wild ride. But if you're like me and enjoy some possibly alone time when you're playing your games, you can now do so with Back for Blood and that mode is releasing very soon. And this next one is such a wild piece of news. I absolutely love it. The Bloodborne D make is now releasing on PC in January. This game is absolutely wild. If you have not heard of it, basically people have gone and remade or demade Bloodborne to fit a more PS1 look and feel. This is basically the entire Bloodborne game redone in the style of PS1 with PS1 graphics and it is definitely going to be something so, so unique and interesting to play. I've never really heard of this being done before with more modern day games and I'm very excited to play it come January. And in Cyberpunk 2077 news, You'll be either pleased or outraged to hear that all fixes and DLCs have now been delayed until 2022. It's no secret that Cyberpunk was one of the most broken launches of all time. However, it's still a pretty good game if you can see past some of the jankiness. But all the new DLCs and fixes have now been delayed, keeping players in its current build until that time. We have no official date for these releases yet, but hopefully they will be soon. Because I, for one, have been waiting to go back to this game since it launched. I know it can be saved. Fix it. And finally, we got news this week that Grand Theft Auto San Andreas will now have a VR release as per Mark Zuckerberg in a recent interview. If you're a San Andreas fan, don't expect any definitive edition nonsense. It will be the original game, but with VR capability on the Oculus Quest 2. I'm excited to see where this goes. I was a big fan of the first person modes in other GTA games, so I'd be very excited to see what they do with a VR world and a VR game in the Grand Theft Auto universe. No official release date for that yet, but hopefully very soon. And everybody, that's all we have time for today. I hope you enjoyed our gaming update for December. If you did, again, please leave a like on the video and subscribe to keep updated with all the most recent gaming news and releases here on the channel. And I've been Dan and or X2Shoes. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Happy gaming.